Hi, it's Clark on Temptress. We're going to do another in our Enough is Enough series. Today's a really cool day. Today, we're going to make our first actual investment. As you know, in this series, we talk about five things. We talk about defining your enough and figuring out what it's going to cost to live that life. We talk about investment theory, how to get that money working for you. We talk about habits and motivations, um, how to stay focused on your goals. And we talk about the actual doing it. This one is another one on that actual doing it. Finally, we talk about community, uh, ways of meeting other people and getting support from other people who are in the same boat you're in. Today's a really exciting day. Today we're doing the do it section. We're doing the third in that series. We talked about opening a brokerage account. We talked about using the tools a broker has to find a fund that you like. Now we're going to talk about actually making the purchase. Today uh, we're going to go through the process. Actually, my wife is going to go through the process using her account to buy uh, an ETF. And then she's also going to show how to buy a mutual fund. These are the ones that we're into. Choose your own. There's a lot of them out there. Find the one that's right for you. But, but we're going to go through the actual process so you can see it work. That should make it easier. It's not scary. All right, here we go. We're going to buy our first investment today. We are going to start by going to Schwab. Again, you may choose a different broker. Um, we just use Schwab because that's what we use. Um, so we're showing you how easy it is with Schwab. I'm going to log into my account. And today we are going to trade. We're going to uh, buy into a mutual fund and an ETF. There's a lot of similarities, but the trading process is a little bit different. I'm going to show you mutual fund first just because it's a little bit more straightforward. I'm going to go to trade at the top of the screen. I'm going to go down here to where it says mutual funds and I'm going to click trade mutual funds. Now the first thing you want to do, and I've made this mistake before, is make sure that you're looking at the right account. If you have more than one Schwab account, uh, make sure you're in the one that you want to buy from. I have two. I have an individual and I also have a Roth IRA that I started a long time ago. It's more of my long-term savings and I get a tax break from putting money into that one. So I've got about $2,000 in there right now just sitting as cash that I want to invest. So I'm going to click that account. I'm going to type in the lookup symbol, which we found in our last video, SNXFX is the mutual fund. That's an index fund, and we are going to buy today. You can buy, you can sell, or you can sell something and buy something else all in the same transaction. But today we're just going to buy, and I'll click continue. All right, we've got our symbol. That looks right. We're going to buy it. That looks right. I'm in the right account. Now we're going to say, how much do we want to buy? There's a minimum of $1 for this account, but I've got a bunch to invest, so I'm going to put in $1,000 into this one. Uh, it's going to tell us here if there's any fees. One of the reasons we chose this account is because it has none of these fees. Uh, you could have a transaction fee, which is a one-time fee that you're going to um, pay when you place this order. There's also something called a load that we talked a little bit about. Uh, if there were a front-end load on this account, we would uh, pay a percentage of this $1,000 as a fee and not get that whole $1,000 invested. But since there's no fees, we're investing that whole $1,000. Then we have the option, do we want to reinvest those distributions that a company may give us? Um, I'm going to click no. I like to get those little extra dividends and such and keep them and then decide what to do with them later rather than have them automatically go back into my account. Um, we do that because we use our investments as a source of income. Those dividends uh, kind of go towards paying some of our expenses every month. If you wanted to play a long-term game where you've got a regular income and your main goal is to build up your savings, you may want to automatically reinvest those just to keep your investment growing that little bit more every, every month or so. All right, now I'm going to click Review Order. And we're getting really close to being done here. So. Here's my symbol. I'm going to buy. I'm going to buy $1,000. I'm not going to reinvest those dividends. It looks like it's going to trade tomorrow, it says. Um, this order will be executed tomorrow, the 28th. This buy order does not have a transaction fee. Super duper. That all looks good. It's the right account. I'm going to go ahead and place my order. There we go. Order received. Thank you. We have received your order. And uh, that's going to go through on tomorrow, which is the 28th. And uh, I'll get a, an email confirmation. And there's also an order number here that you can keep track of. And tomorrow I'll be able to log in and see that on my history of transactions that that went through. And I'm now 
part of that SNX FX account for $1,000. So that's a mutual fund. That's pretty darn easy. Now let's take a look at how we buy into an ETF. So the process is pretty simple. I'm going to go log in again as I did for the mutual fund. I'm going to go up here to trade again. And remember how in the previous video we said ETFs trade like stocks. Um, the price goes up and down throughout the day and there's some different uh, things that make it different than mutual fund. They're over here by stocks and ETFs on Schwab. It might be under a different label um, in your broker's website. So we're going to go to trade stocks. And again, I'm going to make sure that I'm using the right account. I'm going to use this account today. And it says it's got $2,200 in it. But remember, I just placed that other order for $1,000. So I have to keep in my mind I've got $1,200 left. So I'm going to type in SCHG. That's the ETF we found in our last video. And I'm going to buy some of that. Now, one of the differences between an ETF and a mutual fund is that you're not placing an order for a dollar amount, you're placing for a number of shares. We can see down here that SCHG, the price at the end of today, the market is closed for today, the price was $78.39. So there's this handy little calculator here. So if I say, okay, I really want it to be around $1,000, I can press calculate. And it says, okay, that's going to be about 12 shares for you. Now I have a choice to make. I can either say, I want 12 of those. I want it whatever the price is when this order goes through. So that's called a market order. And it's going to estimate my amount here. Remember that stock price goes up and down throughout the day. So if it goes through at 78.39, my total is 944.64. But if it goes a little above or a little below, my, my actual amount may vary. So that's something to keep in mind. I could also say it's more important to me that I get this ETF at the price that I want even if it takes me a little while to get it. So I'm going to place a limit order in that case. And I'm going to say, um, I want to buy this stock since we can see it's 78.39 right now. Uh, it was 77.78 earlier today, and it was up to almost $79 during today. Over the last year, it's been between $64 and $82. You know, I'm not too concerned about uh, getting it at a great price. So I'm going to say, you know, as long as it's under 78 bucks a share, I want to go ahead and buy that. And I'm going to say that that's good until this order is canceled. So that's going to keep checking the stock market. And once it hits 78 or better or lower, it's going to say, OK, go ahead and fill that order. And I'm not going to reinvest my dividends. If you wanted to, you can click right here, just kind of like the other screen. So that looks good. I'm going to review my order. All right, so again, I've got the right account here, I've got the right symbol, I'm going to buy, I'm going to buy 12 shares, this is the exact price or better that I want, and I'm going to place this order, it's good until it's canceled. That looks good to me, and I'm going to go ahead and place that order. There we go, order received, we've received your order, and that's going to get, um, that's going to get processed tomorrow. Again, there's an order number here, so you can keep track of that, and uh, it'll show up in your history of transactions tomorrow. So there we go. That's pretty darn easy, if you ask me. So that's all we can do today. We purchased a, we placed an order to purchase a mutual fund, and we also placed a limit order to purchase an ETF. Wasn't so hard, now was it? I uh, really appreciate you watching our video. I uh, hope you push the like button so other people can uh, know this is worth watching if you think it is. And uh, the comment section is real rich. Lots of people uh, passing information. Feel free to comment. We'll respond. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you want to learn more about this topic and other things in our Enough is Enough series, check out the description of this video. We put lots of good information there, links to other videos, links to other resources. Uh, so be sure to check it out there. Um, also, make sure you subscribe to our channel and uh, hit the bell icon. That'll make sure that you're notified when the next video comes out. Also in that description, you'll see a link for a survey. Uh, click the survey and uh, join up our into our community. We're going to put like-minded people all over the world together and uh, find friends that think like you. We'll be releasing information about that uh, later this month. Thanks again for watching. We'll talk to you guys next time. Goodbye.